what's going on you guys good morning and uh as you can tell i've been pretty much working all morning um so yesterday i showed you guys how to check out your um your check engine light code okay and mine was p0442 which is a vape leak and i've been underneath my truck trying to get this damn thing off and i finally got it off now here's a problem when you live far from an auto parts store, you gotta try to rig up your own kind of fix. So basically, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see right here, hold on. No, you guys aren't gonna be able to see now, are you? All right, well, there's a split right here on the top of the hose, okay? And it's what's causing the leak the vape leak so what I decided to do was I, I, I have extra hose hoses lying around for instance I got a, a huge piece of hose right here lying around and then I got another one so I can show you right here just lying around okay so unfortunately one side of this hose is small and the other one's really large so if you guys can tell okay so what I decided to do was take one of the hoses that I have and basically, as you can tell here, split, come on, focus. I basically cut it, split it, wrapped it around on top of the split of the hose and then used the hose clamp to hold that one down. And it's only a temporary fix just until I can get into town and get a new hose. but. I'm using the hose clamp to hold a part of that hose on to cover this crack and hopefully it'll temporarily fix my vape leak. So, and that's why I just look ridiculously dirty because <laughs> I've been underneath the truck. So, with all that being said and done, it's, I'm going to go ahead and, it's kind of a tight fit so I can't really have my phone underneath my truck on gravel while trying to get this in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on, see if it works. Well, regardless if it works or not, I'm still gonna get it on so I can show you guys, you know, where I was going with this whole entire genius idea. And uh, yeah, I'll get you guys under the truck and I'll show you, all right? So just hang tight. All right, guys. I got the part on and I'm going to try and take you literally under my truck. Like you can tell my clearance isn't as high. Like literally it hits my chest. So I'm going to try and take you guys under there. Ooh, almost dropped my phone. My Galaxy S8 Plus. So don't try to record on an S8 Plus if you don't intend on breaking it. I'm going to try and get myself under here. <laughs> really not working out so I wanted to do it <sighs> all right we're under here thank god all right so you see the clamp all right so it's on the air box or it's not really an air box but This is like so freaking hard to do. <laughs> All right, guys. So you see it on the, the clamp is on. The hose is connected up now. So we're gonna see if this works. And if it works, great. Then it's something that you guys can try. Um, it's a piece of a hose wrapped around the crack, and then we have the uh, the. Uh, hose clamp holding it together so we'll see if it works out or not all right so and i'm not saying it's a permanent fix because it's really not a permanent fix it's just a temporary fix so all right <laughs> all right guys so now that I showed you guys how to check your um, 
your engine air code and I already showed you guys how to change your power steering line so now and I even somewhat showed you guys how to fix your air code for your check engine so I'm gonna show you guys what mine says now all right so we're gonna do that step code thing so it's one two three and it says P done all right now it's it's off that's been clear and my check engine light is off except for I, I gotta get gas so just minor thing but now my check engine light is off and I'm good to go so any questions or anything like that just uh, leave your comment down below if you like this video leave a thumbs up if this video helped you out at all you know leave a thumbs up or leave a like and leave a comment down below on how it helped you out 